incredibly, is an incredibly musical drummer. And um, that's how he approached things. He played what the song needed. He held the song together. And oftentimes we don't notice those parts because they blend in so well with those great Beatles songs. They were just playing here. They're actually singing and they're bashing away and he's just going. That's all he's playing. It's perfect. Okay, another early Beatles song that really captures Ringo's style was I Feel Fine. And he plays actually kind of like a Latin, kind of a Latin feel. There's no click track, there's nothing. It doesn't rush, it's right in the pocket. One of the things that the Beatles did was that they went for a lot of different sounds, a lot of different drum sounds. And one of the unique sounds that they came up with was actually to take a towel and um, place it over the drum. So um, uh, uh, compared to just a regular snappy snare sound, you put a towel over it and it gives it more like a, a muffled sound. And, and the parts are not kind of, they're not intuitively obvious what he actually plays. You listen to it and you go, oh, oh, he's doing this. It's a little bit different. It's just enough different to make it sound unique, but not so different that it detracts from the important part of the song. Bushy, who was the drummer for Iron Butterfly, and he told me that he had dinner with Ringo, and Ringo admitted that he had taken his, his solo. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> it's amazing. And, and, you know, it's got a lot of drama to it, too, because it... It starts out, you know, he does it again, then he does it again, then he, then he kind of fills up. And they go right into that. It's perfect because it's not just look at me. Look at me, look at me, look how flashy I am. He's, he's saying something. It's a it's, arts. It's, it builds in complexity and then it, then it has tension in it and it builds up. And, and it's not, you know, 15 minutes long. 